Well hello guys, how are we? I'm Mark from Treasure Hunt in Scotland. Today I'm off out on a, a little mudlark. You can see behind me, the embankments are freshly been getting whacked <coughs> and that's some severely high tide recently. Now, you can see it's a nice dark brown which means the water's right up over that which explains a lot that I can see has been going on here. Now, there's a lot exposed further up here. Now, we know somebody's digging here and they're going to cause us a great problem <clears throat> and I'll show you why they're going to cause shock <laughs> shock and cause, cause great problems for us and the reason is up here this is why this isn't a kid that's doing this I'm not that silly to believe that <clears throat> right because this is where it's been put down it's been put across as being a kid that's digging this right no chance that's been hammered by somebody so, one way to find them is, come down every day until we meet them. And, uh, yeah, if you're going to dig like that, at least clean up your mess behind you. Absolutely disgusting. The first find I found just lying about, <clears throat> digging into this hole here I was in. Quick scrape, stoneware pot out of it. We got a Christie pipe, TH, check that out out of it as well and of course we got a lovely early pipe look at that eh is that a form back pipe i think you call it but hey three finds already that's a good sign well we didn't think there was a lot of stuff along here but yeah changing my mind on that now so here yeah, let's have a lovely little mudlark about there you go i've just had two out this one's a snap tap ink well snap the end off it and then you would use the ink to write with Quite a common ink well, so I'll leave it behind in case anybody wants it. Then I found this little not to be taken poison bottle, which is nice. It's a Lysol, and uh, yeah, it would have actually quite one of the maybe one of the older ones here. And uh, yeah, I'm not used to rubbing on the front. <laughs> There is ribbon on the front of some of them, some of them are hobnail, some of them are zigzag, kind of, but the straight down the middle ones, uh, yeah, you I don't find a lot of them up here, but a lot of Lysols, but uh, just never of this sort, so yeah, there you go, lovely little Lysol bottle, woohoo! There's a lovely St Helens pot lid, find loads of them, again I'm going to leave that here as well in case anybody wants it. Uh, there's some wee boys and things like that, they come down here and they sift through everything as well and some guys as well have obviously been coming because it takes a long time to dig holes like that and uh, yeah, so I'll leave them and if they will treasure them, they can have them Fine, look at that, part of a World War II soldier Get in, black backpack That is absolutely, well I don't even know if it is a a World War II soldier, it's a soldier of some sort from what war or whatever, I don't know. But hey, that is really interesting. I'm pretty sure somebody will be able to identify that uniform. See if you recognise the uniform, let us know. It may not be its original colours, I don't know. But it could be. If it's an original colour uniform, please let us know what you think it is. We also were in there and we got a wee T and W. Check that out, T and W clay pipe. Very nice. Check that out. That has just popped out. That is a cod bottle. I ain't going to clean it. Generally, I do it right here now, but hey, I'm going to wait till I get that home. It's in Newcastle or Carlisle, one of the two. I think it might be a Carlisle. I thought it was a Newcastle, but hey. We need to get that look off it. I thought it was said Carlisle on it there, but I'm wrong. Hey, Guildford. New one on me. Hey, we'll get that looked at and we'll let you know what it is, but that is a little cod bottle straight out of there. So let's see. Get it cleaned up. We'll go and dip it in the sea, clean it up, and we'll let you know what it is and we'll find out. Well, that cod says registered Castle Brewery, Guildford. New one on me. So, I'm going to have to go and research that. I've never seen that one before down here, but hey, first for everything, lovely little cod bottle from Guildford, which is very rare, and I'll let you guys know 
uh, where it's from. Actually this, which is a broken Bovril bottle. See part of its original label there, but hey, it's a good sign. That's kind of 30s again so far. A lot of 30s, the tip here is about 30s. So I'm just going to chuck that to the side. Well I've just been digging in there, look at that, there is another clay marble that has come out. And check the size of this big bad boy that I just found. What a peach eh? That is a cracker man. That's a big clay marble. Back in the day these would have been used. They'd have been out of bottles or something like that, maybe medicine bottles. And they would have been used for kids and they would have played marbles with them. The kids would have took them to play with. Well that's fresh out, I'll give it a little wipe. We have Britannia, the flag on it. And there we go. Who is this? Is it Muller or Buller it says underneath that? It looks like B U W -L, L E R, whoever Buller was. General Buller. B U W L E R, it definitely says Buller. Whoever General Buller was. Check him out, that is an absolute cracker, isn't it? What a peach of a pipe. What a lovely pictorial. Bottle, hey! We just get one of these smashed a wee minute ago, but there you go. Lovely two ounces, which looks like a full Bovril bottle. And then we got, I think it's a, a Newcastle brand. Some of these are. Yeah, brand, Newcastle. These are sauces, I think. Newcastle upon Tyne. So yeah, I think these are sauces. But hey, another lovely little find. I'll rummage through the stuff again. We've got some more pipes. Britannia this time as well. And this time we've got General Bobs. Bobs. But a Bobs. <laughs> hey, that's a lovely pictorial pipe. That I've never managed to get one of them whole. We have something written on this as well. Oh, it looks like it says bones of something and something. Can't read it. It's a T and W. We'll get that looked at when we get it home. We have a lovely hand pipe as well there. That's a little cracker in it. Big pictorial hand on it. Nice. I like that. So three little pipes. Now we're just going to keep searching for more. I'm going over this with a detector and I found this. Look at that. That's the back. Possibly to something some sort of relic you can see it's had a clip it's obviously clipped over like into a mirror don't know whether it's held makeup or whether it's the hilt off the back of a pocket watch you know where you would open and close an old watch fact that it's lead i'm going to put it down to be some sort of artifact that they would have carried stuff in and they would have clipped it over but hey that is interesting you can see it's obviously opened and clipped over the clip snapped off it, which would have been in here, probably because it's been set in fire that the clip's off it. A lot of this was burnt back in the day, loads of tips were set in fire, and they were set in fire basically just to, uh, you know, keep the rubbish amount down, it compacted rubbish, and all that really left was the bottles. Well, I was using the detector to find something, I actually found a lovely bit of pottery, and I didn't realise it's a hat. <laughs> and it's got a head on it, look at that, it's an old ornamental statue of some sort. Maybe one of you guys can tell me what it's off of. But hey, that is a lovely interesting piece. Possibly from some sort of old uh, statue or figurine used back in Victorian times. These two out, look at that, there's just a pipe with a ball at the end of it. Oh, it's a boot. Look at it, look at it closely. I did not notice that. You can see it, look, it's meant to be a boot kicking a, a football. And that is actually a sportsman's pipe, which is a really nice find. A lovely little sportsman's pipe. And of course, there's a little bottle there I found as well, which says Fleming's. I think it says Arabine. So if anybody knows what Fleming's Arabine was, please drop us a little message and let us know in the comments below. Isn't it just a glorious day? Take a look at that, the water's so still, it's so calm, there's no wind. This place is just the perfect place to chill in a mudlark. Now we walk along the beach, the tide's going out, we'll see if there's anything made its way onto the beach. I mean we are seeing bits of bottles out here, 
when the guys uh, smash into the embankments, what they don't realise is the tide will come and take a lot of the stuff onto the beach that they miss. So sometimes it's worth a wee walk along the beach to see if you can find it. Quite a lot of flint on this beach as well. So yeah, if you're good with your eyes, and I've found much of it on here, you will find flint. So yeah, just a little tip for the the guys at Midlap here. It's actually not a flint stone, but it's close to it. It is actually close to it. Hey, there is flint on here. The tide was low enough, I guarantee you. It's just actually started going out. You can see it's changed direction. And uh, I guarantee you, if I get long enough on here, I'd find some nice pieces of sli uh, some flint. And it's from Neolithic times or Roman times, for around about that era of time, when they were here. I mean, this there was a kind of lost Roman port for this area. There's lost Roman causeways, which was suggested could have been out here, here, and one over there, and one further the side, uh, Henry Bell's house over there. And uh, yeah, you know what I mean? Loads of potential for this area. There's, there's hordes found over the back. There's Roman forts over the back. I dare say somewhere about here, there's a, a horde to be had probably up the hills. And, uh, and if you look long enough, you probably find it. Digging about there, I found some more parts of our soldier. Look at that. Oh, we've got an arm. One arm for our soldier. Couple of clay pipes. There you go. Nothing on that one. Yeah, another blander. But hey, it's a clay pipe, isn't it? And that one is very nice. I like that. A lovely little clay pipe. That's Edwardian. It's 30s, 20s, 30s. But hey, nevertheless, still a lovely clay pipe. And that's the fun of mudlacking, is just going out and seeing how much fun and what you can find in the time that you're doing it. So yeah, we've been out for a little while. I'm going to call it a day for this video. I'll do a roundup, we'll show you some of the stuff. And hopefully we'll be able to get some of it identified and let you guys know what they are. Uh, if we do find it now, we'll just leave little pictures in the video. Either, we'll either leave little pictures in the video or we'll do a roundup. Be one of the two, so... Uh, if there's pictures in the video, then there'll be no roundup. So on that note guys, good luck, happy hunting, and I'll catch you guys in another video soon. Bye for now!